What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer Day with TK. It's a Sunday afternoon here in Finley, Ohio. Spring has already passed, but because I live in the north, we still have snow. Yeah, it snowed yesterday. Not a whole lot, but enough to, I don't know, kind of kill the vibe. I thought spring was here, but it seems like it was the spring of deceit. It came in, it was about 70 for a couple days, and then back to being cold. Anyway, uh, if you watched some of the last videos, the unboxing I did from Halftime Beverage out of New York, um, you know I picked up a bunch of international beers that I never see on the shelves near me. So I got some from uh, Portugal, Spain, Mexico, Guatemala, Colombia, and this one here is from South Korea. I think I had one other Korean beer before, which was Cass, which was, eh, it was okay. Um, so, you know, give this one a try. Now, first thing I'll say, this bottle is super cool looking. So it's a green bottle, right? But at the top here, it's kind of uh, like rifled. The, the, I don't know if you can really see it or pick it up. It looks like rifling on the bottle. So it has a really neat kind of design to it. Um, what else does it say here? Australian Genuine Malt Selected by Terra. Uh, and it says Terra from AGM. 100% real carbonated beer made from pure AG malt. Um, 4.6% ABV, so a bit of a lighter beer, and let's check it out, see what it's like. As far as ratings, 2.88 on Untapped, not particularly good. Uh, beer Advocate, 2.96. This is from the Height Brewery, just kind of says Terra on the, the cap here. I'll show a pic of that, and let's see what this is like. 2.88 on Untapped, 2.96 on Beer Advocate. The overall score was a 76 okay. And it looks like this is from the Height H I T E Brewery. Now, this just looks like a, a Euro lager to me. What's this look like? Heineken or you know Peroni or any of those kind of things. Nice big pillowy white head. It looks quite nice. Ton of carbonation in there is going nuts. Kind of very uh, clear. You can see right through it. As far as color, I would probably go. One on the SRM chart from Brew HQ. It's like a pale, pale golden straw type type of color. Um, ton of carbonation. Like I said, big white head. Looks pretty nice, the head. Yeah, let's give this a sniff. Adjunct lager smell. Lightly sweet. Kind of maybe a little bit of the corn smell in it. Let's see if it says anything about those ingredients. Mmm. No. Brewed and bottled by Height Jinro Company Limited, product of South Korea. No, nothing else on it. Um, just kind of generic Euro lager smell. The one thing I will say is it's not doesn't have the skunky smell with the green bottle. I was half expecting that. Yeah, smells alright. Okay, the carbonation is nuts in there. Tons of carbonation. So I guess it said it was carbonated beer. They weren't they weren't messing around. That's carbonated. Let's give it a taste. It's light bodied. So cold out here, I'm fogging my glasses up. The taste, there's not a heck of a lot there. Um, you kind of have a light sweetness, kind of like that cereal grain kind of sweetness that you associate with adjunct lagers. Um, I don't know, maybe a tiny bit of light malt, like a little bit of a light crackery saltine type malt or something saltine cracker kind of taste not the salt obviously but that that kind of uh cracker taste and nothing else um no real hops presence to speak of no real anything to speak of it's just kind of there um if you are looking for a beer on a hot day i suppose this would fit the bill um but for me doesn't really particularly do anything very well. You don't really pick up any hop presence. You don't really pick up any decent malty flavors. Um, you, you really don't pick up anything. It's just kind of, I don't know, I hate to say beer-flavored water, um, but that's what it is. Now, if you went out a night on the town, you could probably put 20 of these down or something, and, and I doubt it would uh, do a whole heck of a lot to you. 4.6% ABV, um, and that, you know, that's about it. Light, I guess it's light, kind of crisp and refreshing in that regard that it's, it's watery, but... Yeah, this thing isn't doing a whole heck of a lot for me. Still thrilled to be able to try it because I don't really see any South Korean beers near me. Um, but all in all, would I be picking this up again? Probably not. So for me, it would be a thumbs down. Um, Tara, I wouldn't drink another one of these. Again, it doesn't really do anything particularly terrible. Um, it's not off-putting or gross. It just 
does nothing. It's just kind of just kind of there. So you know, it is what it is. Still thrilled to be able to check this out from Halftime Beverage. Um, you know, I guess I'll check out the other international ones and see what they're like. Like I said, I had Portugal, two from Spain, Colombia, Guatemala, uh, Mexico, a couple other places. So. You know, I'm kind of keen to see what the other international beers bring us. Hey, hopefully you liked the video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, got any comments or questions, jump in down below. Have you tried Terra? Do they sell this where you live? Are there, are there any other Korean beers I should be on the lookout for? Like I said, I think I've had this and Cass, but they're the only two I've ever seen. Hey, until next time, cheers.